Okay, so we're going to start when this is day 16 of the 40-day um, awakening intensive and you are most welcome to join today and um, so we meditate first then it will be followed by an uh, say spiritual healing perspective class if you feel like you want to join just be absolutely wholeheartedly welcome so um, yeah come on in uh, so that's uh, that's the opportunity today uh, it's going to be a wonderful class uh, of class moment together in which you can uh, say express yourself too it's like there are moments of um, direct inspiration and and that was the last time that we did it like last week it was an incredible experience uh, at least when I speak for myself it was amazing and um, so today there's a different uh, way of doing it but it's in fact comes down to the same idea but first we start with the meditation um, and we need this deep silence in fact we really need this deep silence to come to the place where you actually seriously can ask for um, can seriously ask for the experience of healing it's like on a superficial level yes you want to be healed but that doesn't mean that you really ask for it so to sink in a little deeper into yourself you actually by itself come to the place where you can sincerely ask for help or for an experience and that is not of this world a love that is not of this world of healing however you want to call it it's like a a moment of communion as Joel would say or a moment of communication of direct communication with with every aspect of creation and so this is this is a very specific uh, meeting in that sense it starts already um, we use words today of Paul in the Corinthians to the Corinthians um, so that's one part of it then as Isaiah expressing in fact the same almost the same words and then it comes back into the ur text of of course in miracles with another specifically to this referring um, say phrase um, say request uh, invitation and uh, so that's that's really beautiful so the part in which Paul is actually expressing this to the community in uh, Corinthians like in Corinth uh, in Greece um, he was sharing this completely conscious of the fact that it's a spiritual teaching and a spiritual teaching is for the ones who can actually hear this and receive this for themselves so in that sense it is a very specific meeting that we have today it's like of course we we come together in this light that that there is such thing as a direct communication with God and say practicing and say uh, intensifying our our request for it or openness for it it will give us um, say the possibility of, of that communication so yeah so we continue with that uh, in in the meeting that we have afterwards too but for now we're actually um, going beyond the eyes that cannot see and the ears that cannot hear this this will come back a couple of times in a different way so I will share the prepared um, I'll share the prepared video with you For since the beginning of the world, man hath not heard nor perceived by the ear, nor has the eye seen any God besides you, who acts for the one who waits for him. But as it is written, eye has not seen nor ear heard, 
nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Forgiveness vanishes and symbols fade, and nothing that the eyes have ever seen or ears have heard remains to be perceived. A power wholly limitless has come not to destroy, but to receive its own. There is no choice of function anywhere. The choice you fear to lose you never had. Yet only this appears to interfere with power unlimited and single thoughts complete and happy without opposite. You do not know the peace of power which opposes nothing. Yet no other kind can be at all. Give welcome to the power beyond forgiveness and beyond the world of symbols and of limitations. He would merely be, and so he merely is. All right, thank you. Thank you everyone for being in the meditation. Thank you for being present and being still. And you see these words are, um, say, coming back to us on a daily basis, you could say. It's like the recognition of that what is possible for you, which is, which is the healing that is always right there. But uh, apparently it seems to be one of the say the last things you ask for so this <clears throat> in the moment that we become still and allow something else to come to us something can come to us and and that's the loveliness of um, say the spiritual healing that is taking place in you and that is your say alternative in every situation to get out of the loop of uh, repeating um, situations, um, redigesting emotional problems, or anything like this. So, in other words, welcome to the spiritual healing perspective class. Um, I'm happy that you join. Um, it's great that you're here to, in fact, uh, expose yourself to this. And um, so we, we had a bit of a warming up last week. Um, it was more like an introduction to this class, or to this moment together. Class sounds as if I'm teaching you something, but this is really like a recognition of you, of the wholeness that, that you are, and say, getting familiar with the idea that it is an opportunity or an option for you to ask for the alternative in every situation and so uh, today it will be structured a little bit like this I never I never watched the clock too much uh, but um, I will try to say say after 20 minutes now from now I will try to like take a break of five minutes or so that if you need to do um, need to get yourself a cup of tea or do whatever you need to do for just a moment you can do that and then we come back and continue with uh, what we're um, up to into and there will be say a lot of possibility for personal sharing um, but but see this um, to have this 
clear right from the start. It is not really like an, um, a discussion group or an, my ideas about it are this and this, or um, you know, it's like it's not exchanging opinions. It is also not, um, say, discussion. It is. It is not looking back at the past how things were. It is not um, none of these things because what we're actually up to here in this moment of sharing and also like coming into the uh, say sphere of spirit of inspiration um, we start to share from a certain place in ourselves like present here whatever is uh, say past is over and gone we practice this during the meditation so that's all gone now we don't have to pick it up for some time and we continue staying in this say deep layer of ourselves to to expand and to say, express ourselves uh, as the inspiration comes to do so and the way that it can be expressed is diverse of course it's like it's not just the talking it's not just the words that you use it's not this it can be in any kind of form it can be in silence it can be in in your presence here or you just allowing yourself to to release um, your mind your emotions just to allow some space to occur inside your consciousness for healing so in that sense it's very practical what we do here and not conceptual um, so to uh, give ourselves a chance to to deeply go into where this is actually taking place and uh, allowing ourselves to have our place and time adjusted to this which sounds a bit mysterious maybe but i'll get back to that later um, we use the spiritual healing handbook um, something I compiled them a week ago or so and um, if you didn't receive it let me know then I'll send one to you um, but we use this today for the ease of it all I, I made a couple of uh, say sheets or slides however you want to call them to to um, look at some of the expressions from the book and today uh, when I share these so the idea is then not to write down a whole phrase or a whole um, say section or anything now just to write one or two or three words that are so right speaking to you in this moment that you hear it in this moment that we actually take a look at it whether that's outspoken or shared by me or whether you read it in one of the sheets these two one two three words um, we use uh, say afterwards in the say, individual expressions of the inspiration that you are receiving to share so so that makes it easy for you this time it's like <laughs> get, get yourself a pencil and some paper and write down three words after we have taken a look at the expressions so this is our first meeting okay that's that's beautiful so here are some interesting expressions so I start with three expressions healing does not come directly from God healing does not come directly from God who knows his creations as perfectly whole and we know this like God sees me as perfect because this is how he created me but healing is nevertheless of God because it proceeds from his voice and from his laws okay so healing does not come directly from God who knows his creations as perfectly whole but healing is nevertheless of God because it proceeds from his voice and from his laws the Holy Spirit always seeks to unify and heal as you heal you are healed 
because the Holy Spirit sees no order of healing. And that's a beautiful, comforting idea, actually. It's like the Holy Spirit always seeks to unify and heal. As you heal, you are healed because the Holy Spirit sees no order of healing. I'll get back to these expressions in a second. Healing is the way to undo the belief in differences because it is only the only way of perceiving the sonship without disbelief. Healing is the way to undo the belief in differences because it is the only way of perceiving the sonship without a belief in differences. Ah, that's an interesting one. So healing is the way to undo the belief in differences. Well, see, that's, I love the practicality of this. <laughs> so I'm picking my favorite already. The differences, like beautiful word, differences. It's like the belief in differences. Now, so here's your human idea about yourself believing in everything that has to do with differences, bright colors, light colors, pale colors, beautiful colors, ugly colors, um, deep colors, superficial colors, pale colors, and all this. You know, it's like just to mention one thing. Um, the non, like the dualistic thinking is based on differences, otherwise it wouldn't even be dualistic. So that is your human mind. So the belief in that is um, what takes away the idea of healing, you could say. So healing always looks to unify, to, to make one, to, to see it one, because it is one. And um, so the great thing then, we're talking about healing. Continuously, healing is in fact the most simple and the only solution to whatever you are perceiving. Just like we did in the meditations, like ears that don't hear, eyes that don't see. So we're, we're talking here about beyond perception. Now the great beautiful thing then here is healing always looks to unify. So how can anything be unified if it is not unified in you? So it's like this is the one and only thing you have to allow in order for this to be experienced, to allow healing to occur. It is not in words. It is not in actions. It is not in any kind of... Uh, belief or um, say conclusion no this is purely and only your experience or say of the love of god your moment in which you become defenseless and say like ah oh, what the heck yeah, wow i can't believe it it is this simple like yes it is this simple so there's there's no better moment to perceive to experience this like there's no better moment to experience this than right now so that that puts it right in your lap right and that puts the responsibility in your lap and uh, which is great because see it it actually invites you to let yourself come into an experience of unity of oneness of connectedness of communication recognizing that it's all one and it's happening in me like if i don't experience it as uh, unity as, as wholeness as oneness and forget about those words but if i don't experience a change and say in yeah feeling of connectedness and then I apparently don't hear what is being said or what this actually is. Or maybe I'm, I have to learn to allow healing to occur to me. And it is like that simple. So this is what we call healing. This always is the same. 
it is always available and this is the best moment to let that occur not two hours from now not tomorrow or some other time now this is just right now this is the best time so that's the invitation allow that to occur to you even though you don't know what it is that doesn't matter even so at least it has nothing to do with differences it's not that one is better at it than the other no equal chances no differences whatsoever so it has uh, the, to allow this healing we we spoke about that yesterday too in the meditation you know, which is like a thankful heart and uh, say grateful heart and a thankful mind is say the easiest way for spirit to enter into your being you could say it's like it's you open the door by doing that and maybe we just practice that right now it's like so allow yourself or say say out loud whether you mean it or not doesn't even matter thank you thank you god for for recognizing this opportunity thank you thank you for recognizing the opportunity that there's an alternative to to this world to this what i perceive to what i've heard today to what i've seen today or what i saw yesterday or whenever like thank you god thank you god thank you thank you ah thank you thank you thank you so this is your mantra for today it's like keep keep let that roll in your mind a thankful mind is like a portal for for spirit to enter into it becomes very easy and you become soft you know by your consciousness becomes like spacious and suddenly the bubble bursts that you have been trying to to defend but it's going to be pinched anyway it's like the bubble will burst so let it burst now why not and this is what i call in the say the release of your mind let this bubble burst that you have been say protecting yourself against the love of god there's no necessity to do so so this is an essential step in the spiritual healing like when we're talking about healing in this meeting it is spiritual healing because it is everything to do with um, becoming inspirited literally becoming inspired feeling that something is stirring you from within and it's say peaceful power you could say so this was also that something that came back in the meditation the peace of power you know this is beyond forgiveness this is beyond an idea of differences but it is it is literally like you allow this to happen to you it is a peaceful power not to destroy no are you kidding this is not to destroy this is to include to unify like to become whole that is the peace of power and and that is working in you so it takes care of it so now this power you will start to feel if you start to express yourself uh, when you feel this inspiration coming through you you actually are feeling that too whether that's in in quiet whether that's just you allowing this uh, experience of unity to come to you this experience of light and love to come into your consciousness however you can express that it is all perfectly all right so don't forget the thank you god thank you so much thank you 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 ah oh, thank you so you will start to feel that deeper and deeper because your heart recognizes these words like your mind recognizes these words too it's like okay everything is all right i can put down my <laughs> put down my defenses i don't have to protect myself i can become completely vulnerable all right so i've said enough um continuing with uh, the next part 
So here's one more. Healing is a sign that he wants to make whole. And this willingness open up his own ears to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. So healing, this allowing this feeling, this deep feeling of unity to come to you is a sign that he wants to make whole. And this willingness opens his own ears to actually hear the still small voice, the voice of the Holy Spirit, whose message is wholeness. Not differences, wholeness, wholeness. So the Holy Spirit cannot speak to an unwelcoming host because he will not be heard. The eternal guest remains, but his voice grows faint in alien company. He needs your protection, but only because your care is a sign that you want him. Think like him ever so slightly and the little spark becomes a blazing light that fills your mind so that he becomes your only guest. So this is an interesting way to look at your mind or to look at your consciousness to see that you have guests. So I'm, I'm going to say elaborate on that a little bit. So you have in your consciousness, you have guests, you have guests. So who are you inviting to the to your party in your consciousness? Like, who are you inviting? That's what this is about. So are you inviting just your Holy Spirit to to come to you and say, yeah, come into the experience of wholeness? Or do you have all kinds of guests in your house that are discussing, that are fighting, that are arguing, that are doing all kinds of things. It's like, then something needs to occur here. It's like there's, there's a unification taking place if you recognize that spirit is actually helping you here, that um, literally he will always there, be there for you. And the other guests that you have invited um, will disappear, literally, will disappear if you allow, uh, say, spirit to talk to you. If you become still to hear the still small voice. So that's it's a beautiful metaphor to see it. It's like, who have I invited in, into my mind? Who's actually talking? To, how many voices are talking to me? So why can't I hear the still small voice? Well, what guests do you have in your mind are, that are talking to you? So that's good to take a look at. So it's like not paying attention to the guests you don't want to listen to, but listen to the only like the only to the still small voice would be the way to go it's like these loud loud voices you leave them for what they are and not listen to them you become still and actually hear a loving voice speaking to you whether that's in movement in in um, say a movement inside of you whether that's a feeling uh, of connectedness or however that's going to be expressed in you that's that's great so you have time to pick your one two three words that are really speaking to you the eternal guest remains but his voice grows faint in alien company you literally can't hear it if it's too noisy all right so that's Oh yeah, so heal your brothers simply by accepting God for them. Your minds are not separate and God has only one channel for healing because he has but one son. Healing thus becomes a lesson in understanding and the more you practice it, the better teacher and learner you become. Every healing, oh, every healing thought which you accept 
either from your brother or in your own mind, teaches you that you are God's son. Every healing thought which you accept, either from your brother or in your own mind, teaches you that you are the son, God, son of God. You can only heal yourself, for only God's son needs healing. He needs it because he does not understand himself and therefore knows not what he does. Having forgotten his will, he does not know what he wants. You can only heal yourself, for only God's son needs healing. He needs it because he does not understand himself and therefore knows not what he does. Having forgotten his will, he does not know what he wants. Mm, sounds familiar. That's great. That's great. So this goes really deep. Sorry, this goes really deep into into the idea of healing in relationship with your brother. See, in every sentence there's of every section there's brother. It's like your minds are not separate. Like there, you are of one mind. So the healing you accept, you accept for your brother. You know, it's not different than what Joel Goldsmith said. Like you have to accept this for yourself because you literally are of one mind. Like there's only one of us. By you accepting it for yourself, this healing, you are giving it to everyone. You can never be healed alone, is another expression. So every healing thought which you accept teaches you that you are God's son. Like whether you receive that from your brother or in your own mind, it doesn't matter. It teaches you you are the son of God. So how do I know that I accepted a healing thought? I only can experience that. Like it is not about having a great idea. No, it is about experiencing the unity with the idea. So it's always exper uh, experiential, like it's always about experience. And that's so cool. I'm continuing. So healing is a sign that he wants to make whole. And the willingness opens his own ears to the voice of the Holy Spirit, whose message is whole, wholeness. Okay, we were here. Yeah. Okay, so these were the expressions that I selected for this meeting that you might already have an idea. It's like, oh yeah, I, I think I got it. It's like, I think I, I, I have my three words or my two words or one word. And it's not about these words. It is, it is that these words apparently resonate with you in this present moment. So that means also then that you can say, let yourself be inspired by this idea. Like you have accepted a healing thought. Well, it's going to be expressed through you in di by direct experience, you could say. And not making that big as in, as in who knows what, no. So as just something that is in relationship with you and uh, that you want to give because you feel that. You feel that from within. All right. All right, so time flies. That's why I, I just start to share myself a little bit, just to say, come to an yeah ending of this meeting, or at least a moment together again in in the silence, in the stillness, in the uh, in this very. Uh, specific place in fact of inspiration of silence and listening and like not having anything to lose um, but feeling deeply the intensity of the say that what is given you know you could say like 
a little bit of that is already overwhelming because it sets you free for just a moment of the limitation that you might experience like a moment ago so that's the loveliness like to to heal is to make happy is it's really like it makes you so happy that you don't know what to do with yourself and I'm not going to be too dramatic about that but it is more like the intensity or the depth of it that is so amazing that you can imagine that it would extend to everyone so that's what i love about it and it's it's like a real um celebration inside yourself that you allow uh, in all simplicity see then you see also that the the situations in which you really feel the need for this seem to be um uh, say interesting for yourself to take a look at because it might take a moment before you actually stand still and open yourself up for this experience while it is the most simple thing that could happen to you it is devoid of any kind of complexity it has nothing to do with any uh, concepts it has nothing to do with any restrictions or worth or judgment so it's like the purity of healing is really it is that simple when you experience you will you will feel like and think maybe like oh, it's, this is so simple of course of course you know it's like of course i of course i feel at home in this of course i want that like why did i go so far in order to get to the point where i actually ask for it and and become open to receive it like we make ourselves we can make ourselves so insane and so crazy and so you can make it so difficult for yourself to just simply accept this what is being offered in every moment that would take you out of any situation it's like it's a universal principle given to us it's it's your natural way of communicating with your creator you were created by your creator so it's like you might as well experience the love that you are and you're the only one who can allow that so it's freely given so i love that so for now uh, thank you so much for being present in this meeting and allowing this uh, very vulnerable part of yourself to be exposed to, to show literally and uh, in all safety and integrity in which this can take place here thank you for your uh, love for your brother that's so beautiful so thank you for that and thank you for your love for god 